Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello halal family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video we'll be reacting to No spice, no life uh, Indonesian uh, food brings that uh, heat This video was suggested by Java Cube Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion Stay tuned guys We'll be right back with a video Welcome back guys, inshallah we're going to get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we're going to get started with our video. What's going on y'all? It's Max here from My Kind of Beats, ready to bring it to Indonesia. Now with over 17,000 islands, I barely scratch the surface with the delicious food you can try in Indonesia. But this video is going to be full of Balinese food. We're going to have a lot from Jogja, which is a place that really balances tradition with forward modernization. So it is an absolute food hub. And of course, I went to Manado on North Sulawesi, which is just full of a fiery cuisine. So I hope you are ready for this top rated, most delicious Indonesia food video. We're gonna head that way back to Indonesia and get it started. So what you do, you come in here and you actually fill up your plate how you want it and they'll charge you for how you pick it up. So you get to pick the number of chilies, you get to pick how much chicken you want and what other little things you want to go with it. Oh, got an absolute feast of just chilies, fried chicken, egg, and tempeh here. Oh, this is beautiful. Just loaded with chilies, the chicken, the great skin on it. Get some right here on top of my rice and go in for a massive bite. I'm telling you the flavor from those chilies are everything. So glad I got as many as I did because they're nice and spicy, but just the sweetness and natural flavors coming from those chilies is fabulous. It mixes with that fried chicken, so you get that greasiness. You get that nice, lean, juicy meat. Oh, that is absolutely wonderful. Mm. You see what they got there? It's almost like a little fruit mixture, putting in like a peanut sauce and then yeah. topping yeah. it with the ice cream. Yeah. Oh, and there's that kick from that sambal. Oh, y'all, I never thought I'd have some ball with my dessert. Welcome to Indonesia. Oh, he threw these spices in there. I mean, they just attack your face. So fragrant. And he's using that huge, beautiful duck egg. What a master with individuals, moving everything, moving the walk, moving the spatula just perfectly, almost like this is a choreographed dance. Oh, look at this, got the rice noodle and the flour noodle in here. I don't want to waste any time. The egg is just acting like a binder with everything. It's so thick. Get a little bit of the free range chicken here. That is just unbelievable. The texture from both style of noodles. You get that broth, it's light, but yeah, it's still thick and creamy because he busted that duck egg in there. Oh wow, this is phenomenal. Mm, that is gold, that is a magic broth, y'all. I don't think I forgot my chili. Yeah. All 
Walmart, y'all. I forgot to tell y'all. We're about 10 to 15 minutes south outside of Georgia at a traditional market where they're just doing goat everything. You see them. They got the goat satay. They got stews. They're just cooking the bones. I mean, they are doing everything here with the goat. All right, so we got the tongseng and the kiti to go along with our goat satay. The first one is actually a goat liver cooked in broth, and the other one is just a stewed up goat meat. Oh, just a huge kick of salt, which is helping that goat flavor just explode. And then they get that char on it. I mean, it is just salty, pure goat meat and char. Oh, wow. I'm gonna give y'all a good rule of thumb for when you come here. Don't eat anything without that sauce. Oh, that is phenomenal. All right, so we're about to eat satay kale, which is kind of almost like the poor man's satay because kale actually means like you have nothing. So what it is, it's satay done with just pure fat. It's melting, I mean pure melt in your mouth. If you like fattier pieces, <laughs> clearly because it's purely fat, but this is for you because they're coating it in sugar and sauces. It's just intensifying that melt in your mouth flavor. And I just want another bite. Oh, I can't yes, yes. That bite is the definition of flavor because they've dried that beef out. It's got such an intense beef flavor, marinated with a lot of sugar and soy sauce. So it's sweet, it's umami, and then yeah, that sambal got a kick to it. Yeah, oh my gosh. That is just incredible. This is a sight of beauty right here. Y'all, that is just falling off. I mean, I'm just barely touching it. That is the definition of smoky. Not near as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. It's got a great depth of flavor. Indonesian spices, the smokiness is just infused all the way through it. Oh man. Y'all, this is gorgeous. Get a nice piece with plenty of sauce here. Mm. Oh, that is beautiful. Reminds me of just like a sambal oily broth. Then you get that boxo. 
The actual box of meatball, it's not that spicy. You're getting a great meaty flavor from it. It's nice and tender, it's not too springy. Mm. Y'all, this is where it was at. This is good until the last drop. Mm. Okay, little pro tip, I went up there and got it, and then they had this huge space which you can eat, so I kind of got out here, tried to get away from the crowds, but uh, get here early, grab you one, and just come back in here, there's plenty of space, don't feel too, you know, claustrophobic. Get a little bit of everything, got some sambal egg, some veg, some chicken, get it all. I mean, that's pure Balinese nasi champur. I mean, the spices and the flavors. It's just pure Balinese coming at you. Mm. All right, so what it looks like is everybody's just kind of picking what they want to have on top of their nasi. Oh, look at this. Got like dry pieces of liver here. Gonna bring me off a piece of liver. They got tons of pieces just of fat and skin. Get some of that with the Loire here. Everything in here is just pure bony spices and texture. Everything's got a little chew to it, where it's ground, it's minced up. You got the vegetables in there. Everything in here is just about chewing and getting bony spice and bony spice and bony spice. So there are two different types of gudeg, a wet and a dry. This is actually the dry version, which is gonna be sweeter, and the wet is usually savier. Mm, awesome bite. I'm ready to keep getting after this. Get the typical approach, a little sambal, a little ketchup, get that mixed in, get a bite. Oh, that's just a meaty, sweet bite. I mean, the meat has even been soaking in that manis sweet sauce. And then you do, you get that turmeric soaked fluffy rice, you get the spicy sambal, you get the crunchy little potatoiness. Oh, yeah. I was so curious, it does not taste like banana at all. It tastes more like cassava. The sambal is really tomatoey, very creamy, relish like. It got a great little kick of sour to it. Smokey back here, he's got a ton of coals. What he does is kind of dumps in almost like a little soy sauce, a little calamansi, little mixture right here, I'm guessing, and then throws it straight on that hot heat. He has a couple other sauces here which he keeps marinating those fish, making sure they're staying nice and juicy. And here's the beauty of Monado Cuisine. You see here you got three huge bowls, all filled full of just chilies and some balls, and just sauces the top on your freshly grilled fish. Look at the chili, beautiful sauce just coating this. I'm gonna get a little extra sour on mine. I look around, I see people eating both kinds of ways, but I'm just gonna go in with my hands. Yeah. 
That's such a fresh fish, grilled up to perfection with a ton of chilies and just freshness, tomatoes with an acid kick, a double-double, not near as spicy as I thought it would be. Instead, it's nice, it's oily, it's got a little acid coming from it. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Mashallah mm. guys, there's a lot of uh, delicious food. The sate, we usually call it kebab, so the kebabs or the sate were looked amazing there was chicken ones i think there was beef there was one that was fat you know what surprised me was sambal on ice cream like subhanallah indonesians for sure love and eat spicy food if you're adding it to ice cream because <laughs> he was putting it i thought maybe you know what it's probably some kind of sauce but i could see like those little um you know the inside of the chilies in there I was like, no, it can't be. And he said, yes, it's a chili on the ice cream. But hey, you never know. You know, um, there was a restaurant that used to uh, sell um, uh, sushi with chocolate sauce and hot sauce on top of it. When I heard about it, I was like, no, it's, it doesn't sound right, you know. But when I tried it, it was delicious. So I think looking at it, maybe it doesn't sound right. But until you try it, it's a different story, right? So all the food looked uh, delicious, amazing. I uh, can't wait, inshallah, to try more of these, uh, inshallah, one day. So uh, thank you very much, guys, for suggesting this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you like me to react to any other videos, please put in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you very much for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. And inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Wassalam.